Hello, everyone. Uh, please check in as you come in. Uh, thing is uh, kind of like a long overdue for um, another chat with you guys. I hope everybody is doing very well. Um, so I wanted to give you some updates. And so just check in when you come in. Let me know if the sound uh, is good. If I need to uh, increase the, the decibels a little bit. Uh, so just type in so I know who's online. Um, I was really, really excited, and I am really excited to do this video. Uh, it has been in the work for some time now, um, so I wanted to get everything ready uh, for you guys. Um, so my goal is to, you know, always give you updates um, and try to help you as you, you know, you go through your projects uh, with information, and so um, you know, you you be able to to get these things done uh, in a better way. So anyway, so there's there's a few things I want to address today. So one of uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to share with you guys is that for the since last year, you know, I was approached uh, by a couple of people to to come up in a way to actually show, you know, um, how we build in Ghana because that information is very very difficult to obtain. Um, and so I entertained it. I thought it was a good idea, but I never could get a time to. To make it happen so just type something in there to let me know if you can hear me or anything like that so to also know who's who's on board and um so in this early this year you know the the conversation came up came about again and then we decided to put something together so one of the things uh we decided to do is to create like a construction project guidelines right because as you know that is very, very difficult. Most of us, this will be our first endeavor, right, to, to build, and uh, it's very, very difficult to know the series. So we wanted to do it the right way, and so we collaborated with a lot of people to, to come up with this construction project guidelines, okay? So as a roadmap to help you navigate through your various stages uh, in your project, right? And so and some of the benefits of this uh, guidelines uh, one you creates understanding of the building process right two he identifies the decision makers and tasks that needed to be completed at each stage three enhances better planning and execution another uh, benefit is it helps make quality decisions and then overall also have reduces stress and the uncertainty in the process right but our goal is to allow efficiency by reducing unnecessary cost and resources. Okay, so um, this will allow you to control the project by acting as an informed project manager and making sure that the appropriate steps are being followed as you build. Um, so it puts you, uh, you the owner, in charge of making some good decisions with consultations uh, with your builders as well because sometimes your builder may not understand these steps and through arrogance or negligence may cost you some money, sometimes can be a lot and also stress, right? So our goal is to put you in charge. And so I wish this information was available when I started. Um, and so it would have saved me thousands of dollars in stress. So we, we are happy to announce that we have compiled this important information into a four page PDF file. So if, if you guys can hear me, can you text? Uh, can you text something in the text box so I know that at least the text is working, the chat room is working. And so, but there's two ways to access this information, right? So one, you go to our website, Royal Consulting Solutions, right? Under services, you can click on project guidelines, right? And complete a payment system of $49.99, it's about 50 bucks. And you'll be able to download the PDF file and the value of this material is is priceless, you know. So what we what we did was we, we go through the steps, but then we show you what tax needs to be done and also who's responsible to be making that decision. So there will be times in your project that you need to be the person making the decision. There's times that you need to be uh, making the, that decision with consultation with uh, maybe a plumber or like electrician or 
or tie or install or whatever, right? So we assign those things and it's methodical. Um, and and uh, and this information I think is paramount. It's paramount, I don't care where you are in your project because sometimes this project can come across as like never ending project because you don't have the roadmap. You don't know what are the necessary steps that are coming up. So it makes planning a little bit challenging. So. And we do things in sequence that makes sense to reduce waste um, and stuff like that. So, so that forty nine ninety nine is 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 is, is, a, is not a lot of money for the value that you are getting. Okay, another way to access uh, this information too is during booking consultation. You can select uh, the package that includes um, guidelines. Okay, and then that will give you a discount of ten dollars. And then you'll be able to download it from there as well. So when we start your consultation, you will have a roadmap to guide you from your questions, uh, to guide you with your questions and concerns, right? And so we have we have we've copyrighted this material because as far as we know, we are the first to put something like this together. There is nothing like this out there. We search everywhere. So buy it, you know, it is worth it. It's you know, and and please do that, do not you know transfer the the info uh, the material to other people. Let them acquire it themselves. Okay. So um, can you guys hear me? Because I want to make sure. Um, I don't know if the live chat is working. So if any of you can just text something, um, that will be says unable to chat here. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see. Let me grab something. Let's see. YouTube is awesome. Says unable to chat. So you guys can uh, see. All right. So hmm, that's interesting. Says unable to chat. So, hmm, let me play with this thing a little bit. Okay, I think I can see the chat somewhere here for some reason. Okay, um, sorry about that. I think I can see it here. Um, so anyway, um, so this brings me to the point that, uh, you know, we need to, you know, support each other. Uh, because one of the things I'm also finding out is that um, a lot of our people go into business and um, and they fail sometimes not because they are lazy or they don't have their business acumen, and sometimes we you know they just don't get support from their own people. So other groups practice uh, group economics uh, to the T. So it makes sense if we provide uh, quality services. And, and products, you know, it's like, you know, it makes sense our own people will, will support that. Uh, and so we can help and everybody move forward. And so, and I leave, and I leave, you know, with these words. So what we put together was a collaboration with a lot of people involved uh, because no one person has all the ideas and have, have all the wisdom. So a lot of people came on board and uh, we, we put something together. And so I was, um, I was so motivated and I'm so motivated after, you know, putting this project guidelines together that, you know, I have a surprise. You know, I decided, you know, I wanted to be another home, you know, I want to be another house in Ghana, this time in the city of Accra, uh, just a small house, you know, breaking ground will be in the middle of next year. Um, this is a purposeful build to accomplish a specific objective. You know, it will be a place to relax and retreat for a while while I'm in the city, you know, conduct business meetings and that kind of stuff. Um, so, and it's going to be a modern style, you know, it's going to be cozy on one plot, you know, 10 by 70 feet at least. Um, so, and chances are you probably have seen the type of house I want to be at. So, if you looked at the thumbnail from the live stream, the house that you see is exactly the one that uh, I intend to build. 
I've already submitted my modification request to the architectural firm and they have uh, come back to me with a code uh, for the cost of the blueprint. And so I need right now is to land acquisition and be ready to go. So I'm um, really, really excited about that because after going through the, you know, the construction blueprint uh, guidelines, you know, I came out with a better perspective and in a simple way and much more appreciations. And I was like, man, I can do this. If I have to do it again, it's going to be much smoother, you know, um, and much more efficient in terms of cost and using materials and stuff like that. So, so I'm excited about that. So I want you to dream a little bit. So, so for this plan, you know, when you come in, you come into the foyer, you make a right turn. Um, you come into the office, which is also slice the tent, and then on the wall, about four by ten feet along the wall is a temperature controlled uh, wine storage room over there. And then uh, as you come back to the foyer on the left side, there's laundry as part of the room, two steps down to give you access to the garage. And then you come back to the foyer. If you look straight, there's a pantry, there's an open star layout kitchen overlooking the dining room, talking the right corner of the name, main floor is uh, the open living room, which gives you access uh, to the covered back porch. You come around where the um, the wine story room is, you make a 90 degree turn, you go upstairs, take the stairs, go upstairs, where you find a uh, master bedroom on your right, on your right side, uh, master closet, you know, master suite, moderate size, uh, opens to a glass railing balcony, and then you come out. There's another in the, each of the corners. There's uh, three medium-sized bedroom suites over there, and then in between the two bedrooms, there's a door that access you to the front balcony, glass railed, and you come around uh, the the left side of the bed on two steps down to the rooftop deck of the garage, and that is where I'm going to use that as entertainment space. So I'm going to have a built-in kitchen. Uh, with a grill and wine cooler over there with a uh, sofa or with a uh, sofa seating with umbrellas and stuff like that. So when you guys come visit, we can hang out over there and uh, relax and uh, plan more and stuff like that. So I am really, really excited. I'm inspired uh, with what we're able to, to come together. Uh, it was a great collaboration of a couple of, a couple of people who also give their input. Though some are building and some are new people. So I think this is a, an incredible uh, piece of information that that we have um, for you to access and as, as, as you build, uh, because other than that, um, you know, this thing can, can become like almost like a money pit, right? Um, and I don't think some of the builders actually know this and because I was thinking, why isn't this information available, right? Uh, and it will make sense to maybe your builder doesn't want you to know as well. And so in this process, we find out also like, uh, you know, plumbing, there's three phases, you know, electrical, there's, there's three phases and all kinds of stuff. So um, so then you know at each phase what, what you're supposed to do. It helps you just better plan well. And so if you have any questions, I'll take them as they come. Uh, we have a full house. Um, and stuff like that. So I wanted to, I wanted to bring that to your to your attention. And so I'm about to begin from ground zero, you know, land and start building. Hopefully, uh, start uh, building uh, next year summer. Stuff like that. Um, so I mean, the quest for my land acquisition in the city. I work my way in, and as I go out, and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I'm also being inspired by, you know, just, you know, watching your projects and stuff like that. And uh, it's just the goal is to find out what we can do, what what you made out of, right? Um, and so, but I wanted this house to be something unique, different. Uh, nothing is being duplicated uh, from the old house. I want to keep it strictly modern, straight, straight lines, cozy, and totally different feel. Um, and then just to be in a city, you know, you guys come visit and I need to pick you from the airport and I can just pick you up 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know, we over there, we hang out before we head to other places and stuff like that. So, so you can do more than you think you can, uh, you know, um, just, just, just keep, um, pursuing your dreams and, and, and then let us know how we can help you. 
obviously that is why you know we come with a company you know to be able to to help our people and also helps you finish your house because I would need a place to crash someday right and hopefully I can call on you guys and uh, and uh, I can get one room to crash for the night and stuff like that so I'm really excited so check out the website uh, purchase it this is this is uh, priceless this information will it's a life changer man it's a life changer it's just going to help you see the scope of everything you're dealing with and what is coming down the road. And one of the things I'm happy about is in the steps, we have decision-making points because there are times that you have to make certain decisions that's gonna affect other projects down the road. And when you don't make them and you get there, it's very, very difficult to remedy that, right? So it is um, It's just, it is It is wonderful. It has inspired me to, to build another one. I thought I was done, right? So. So I think uh, you guys should check it out. Let us know your feedback, what we can do to help you. Uh, make that dream come true, right? Forget about coronavirus, we are gonna be fine, right? Don't worry about that. Um, we are resilient people, we're gonna be here. So that a distraction. Anyway, so um, so uh, let me know if you have any questions, just start uh, putting them in and then I'll check, uh, let me see. So uh, build and sell, that is tricky because you know what? Uh, because there's a lot of homes for sale right now in Ghana. Um, and the the thing people don't understand that some of these real estate companies don't understand is that you got to bring the price really down, right? Because yes, people have money in Ghana, but very few people. Very people can come out with 100, 200, half a million dollars, right? And so those are not realistic. And so what is going to happen is that you're going to have saturation of, of, of you know, homes on the market and eventually you have to bring the prices down. So I'm entertaining that which way I want to go. If I do go, I'm not probably going to go high end. Probably I'm going to go like low end to maybe affordable homes or something like that. Because it's like, what is the point, you, you know, you have quarter of a million, half a million dollar, a million dollar home on the market and it's, and it's not being it's not being purchased. So, so that is the thing. Um, but, but you never know. That may change down the road. But um, I think right now there's, there's a lot of homes. There's a lot of homes over there. And if we decide to do it, there's going to be something unique. You know, it's, we, I, I'm not a fan of the cookie cutter homes, right? You go to this gated community and everything looks the same. That is, it doesn't do anything for me. I want the uniqueness. I want something different um, and stuff like that because people have taste. And you want to respect that and stuff like that. So, um, but not anytime soon. I'm not considering at least nine in the next five years. But um, so, where can we sign up for the consultation? So you can go to my business website, Royal Consulting Solutions, um, and then you can see booking, and then uh, you can. Let me type it in here. Then you see booking and then you can select. Um, so we have different categories. It was just straight booking. Just we have 30 minutes and one hour. The 30 minutes is not enough. Um, so I think the value is there in one hour, but then there's an option to select with the guidelines, which I think makes sense because it's like, granted, we're not gonna go through all the four pages of, um, of the PDF, but at least through that, you can ask questions that are very, very specific because sometimes what happens is like, we start with a consultation and you know we're talking about Donald Trump and that is not effective way. So they, you know, you can look at a list and then we can we can go through them and stuff like that. So go then if you have any questions, you can contact us, email or phone number, um, and stuff like that. So um, so we and what we try to do is to be methodical uh, in what we bring to you. If there's no value, we don't put it on the website. I don't I don't like wasting your time. Um, so, and if something doesn't work, we will, we will remove it. So that's how it is uh, and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, you know, I want to enhance. Uh, I want to be uh, something positive as uh, in your life as you create, uh, you pursue your dreams and aspirations. So, so it's very methodical. That is why we don't we don't do the videos often because we want to make sure when we come out information is legit and then we have to verify some of this information and that take time 
and stuff like that. Um, and so what we do is unique um, and, and we care about it and we're serious about it, we respect it. And so uh, we really do really, really want to help you. Um, so we're doing some projects. Um, we are do we do do projects even though I don't show the videos uh, because you know want to respect people's privacy. But now people are giving me go ahead to upload some of your videos. So we're working a big project in the Kuru Mountains, uh, like an acre. So I'll be I'll be uh, posting some videos about that um, in a couple of weeks and stuff like that. And so um, we're busy, but um, but we're always available to 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 help you and stuff like that. So, you know, how many months will you take to finish the new project? So the new project, um, granted everything is money, right? So everything is tied to money. You have other responsibilities. Um, so the the plan is to um is to finish it within four years, you know. So we'll see. Um because you have to move resources, you have to go to business and that kind of stuff. But this time I think it's gonna be, I think we're gonna be saving a lot of money because, you know. I'll be involved and we've gotten some experience and stuff like that and how we're gonna do the things and everything. So, and it's a smaller, it's a smaller house, you know, it's like uh, less than 3000 square feet. You know, I already have 6,500 square feet and I don't think I'll ever be bigger than that. You know, the first house is just like, you can meet any needs I want down the road, but I wanted something a little bit different, something smaller in the city. There's no reason to, to build uh, two big homes is wasteful in my point and, and stuff like that. So, so but I'm excited. But I know once we get a we get a we get a land and we hit ground, I'm gonna do everything I can to move this thing fast, uh, fast and quickly. Um, because, like you know, you know, I watch the election, the inflation rates, you know, the money, the CD, and that kind of stuff. So the longer you wait, the more you are paying uh, for that project. So. We try to squeeze it as soon as possible. Yeah, so just the modification is good. Um, so with the architect company that we have, you know, um, get to your taste because here's the thing, right? There's, there's a big difference. You know, there's a difference between a house and a home. You want a home. You want a place you can come and you feel it. You feel like, man, I belong here. So pay for the modification um, so that when you're done, you can actually feel it and, and the way I am that's why I don't think I could ever buy a home upright because you know I just want certain things that I, I don't unless you have my head you can you can't deliver that you can't deliver that on a blueprint so so this modern home is really nice aesthetically I'm keeping everything exterior and everything but but the inside uh, the the floor plan main floor plan minor tweaks in there the upstairs changing everything changing a lot of things in your layout and stuff like that so um but at the end of the day you know you're gonna be happy you're gonna be happy with that so that is the goal the money is going to be spent somehow <laughs> it's gonna be spent somehow most of the time you don't even know where the money right so but we want to have something to show for right and building a home is one of those things that um uh, is incredible So it depends, right? So small house or big house. So the, the most important thing is is budget, right? You have to be realistic, right? Uh, you have to be realistic. So um, I think the medium would be like just the, you know, so small versus big, you know, big is relative, right? Uh, I'll consider mine as big. Um, small, I would say maybe 2,000 square feet, you know, medium 2,500 to maybe i say 4,000 medium in Ghana standard, right? And it's in about five, uh, five going is big. So you have to figure what your needs will be, right? It could be maybe this is the only house you want to build. And then I'll say maybe if you can't go big, then go medium. Or have the bedroom size or have the outdoor space, right? And stuff like that. But we don't want a situation that uh, people look at what other people are doing and then they get caught up and then they don't know that this thing is going to be causing 400,000 or half a million dollars. And then uh, the next thing you know, the house is just sitting there for 10 years and nothing is being done. So the size matters to a point, but I think the layout is the most important thing. The layout. I would take, 
a 3,500 square feet home that has a better layout than a 6,000 square feet home with a terrible layout. So the layout is very, very important. So that is why I always say like the, um, the planning. The planning is the, is, is the most important thing. So it is the most important thing. And you need to be spending a lot of time because once you, you've done everything and, and you know what you want to do, then it's about just following through, right? So, so take your time um, and, and look at your finances and, and see if this thing is feasible. Is this feasible? 10 years, granted, job changes, things happen, life gets in the way. But if something goes wrong, is this feasible in 10 years, right? And if it is, then, then go for it. Okay. And um, so, so it's different. There's not like a right or wrong, but layout, I would say focus more on the layout uh, because that is what is going to, that's what the value is. Yes, you know, the, and, and what people don't know is like consultation. When we do consultation, we, we can help you with how to come up with the finances, right? We, we can talk about that. Trust me. Uh, you know, there's a way we can do these things. You know, I know I don't talk about that a lot, but if, it's, if, it's, if the issue is financial challenge, we can come up with ways. You know, we, we can set up like a budget for you, how to move money, how to put. Okay, everything I do, I, you know, you know everything we talk about is of experience, right? So some people can just dip and come out with a hundred, two hundred thousand, but everybody's doing, you know, everybody can do that. So and we have proven that you don't have to go that route; you can still build the house uh, you want to. Uh, and so, good, good. So great. So the the house. So granted, the house, the house that you see, so that's a good question. How much does it cost uh, to build? So depends, right? So depends. So I would say Accra, Accra is expensive, but we, we have our own crew. So that's a different thing. That house, depending on the amenities and, uh, and the finishing, I would say under 200, you know, 156 ish, 175 to 200, depending on what you want to put in it, right? Can you get it 130, 140? Yeah, depending. So the structure is not going to be the, it comes down to what you want, what amenities, what was, um, uh, provisions you are making and stuff like that. So those start adding up, but, but it can be done and uh, stuff like that. So, um, but you always, leave something extra for, you know, things do go over and stuff like that. But because, you know, and I think I'm going to get it lower because, like, I'm not duplicating a bunch of stuff, right? I already have a big house. I don't have to duplicate that. So generator will be small. I'm not even doing POP. I'm going to do a straight, flat roof, uh, ceiling work with uh, recess lighting and stuff like that. So there's some things that I'm not duplicating. So um, it's going to reduce the cost by a lot, by a lot. Okay, so good. Inflation of their land prices, right? So you know, right now, land in Ghana is going crazy. Everybody, everybody is just uh, naming everything. And it looks like their hands are on the keyboard and they press the zeros to whenever they get tired, they release it. For me, this is how I look at it. It's value, right? And what I consider value is the same way I consider value here. Amenities, infrastructure, and everything. You cannot sell me some land somewhere because it's going to be developed 50 years and you owe me to pay $50,000, $100,000 a plot. It's not, it's not just going to work. Because here's, you see, the people that are holding on to the land, here's one thing they don't understand, right? You know, you can hold on to the land. Somebody can use muscle to take it away. It happens. Let's uh, be real, it happens. Or something happens, you die. Your relative will just offload that thing for cheap because it, does, it didn't cost them anything. So there's a price I'm willing to pay. Um, and then there's some price I'm not willing to pay under no circumstances because I don't have a desirable place to live in a way. You know, I live in New York City. Uh, if you give me a free house, I still want to live in New York City. 
So we have to think about it that the the quote called the value is subjective. What is value? Uh, somebody's value is not your value. Okay. I grew up I grew up in airport. I lived there. You know, I live in Medina. I used to go to Legon. I went to school in Cantonment. So all those places live in Flaster House. So these are like premier prime location. To me, I have a different mindset. It's not whatever to me. It may be prime for other people. It's not prime for me because the road to my house is much better than 95% of all the roads in Ghana. So granted, I'm outside the city. I like to drive straight shots, no potholes, and I got to my house. Than to tell me so. So you have to be um, you have to be careful about that. Um, so if that means move off a little bit, let them let them keep the line for the million dollars of hundred by sixty. They want to keep it. That's the prerogative. Somebody will pay for it, fine. But I tell you, it's not a smart smart because even if somebody buys it and they put a condo and they're charging two hundred, three hundred, forty, four hundred thousand dollars, there's only a few people that can buy that. There's only a few people that have the money to do that. Okay, and those people that have money like to build their home too. They want to build their 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 dream home too, and stuff like that. So um, and and so so that's the things you have to think about. And so one said, uh, hundred by seventy. I say hundred. If you want to fit two homes, hundred by seventy. Unless you go narrow, you have to go really really narrow. So uh, you have to go maybe 30, 35 feet, you know, width, and then maybe. 40 feet depth. And so if you want any outdoor space. So I will like 10 by 70 for a house. I'll do, I'll do the max you want to push it out. Depth 60, 65, maybe 70 ish, and the width, maybe 60. You know, 50, 60. And so you want that space. So you don't want to push it too far. And stuff like that. So, but I've seen people cram cram houses in there. So if you go narrow, you go like a modern style and you go vertical. Now then maybe you can do that. But or you can do like an L shape type of home and stuff like that. But uh, if you want to go like a box boxy type of building, ten by seventy two of them, uh, it's a little bit uh, tight. Fifty plots again is very to build in twenty twenty. I would like to have a conference with you. Yeah, Catherine, just reach out to us and and then we can take it from there uh, and stuff. Um, um, so we'll be happy uh, to work with you and, and, and so we can take it from there, okay? Yes, yeah, so it's hard. It's not, well, 70 by 30, once you go outside, I cry. You get my land, granted was a long time ago, is 120 by 200, right? So 100 by 120 for a plot. But you can still get 100 by 100 when you go outside. It's just a crowd, what is going on? I mean, I see places 80 by 60. I mean, you can't do anything with that. You know, so so that's what I'm saying is uh, don't feel like you have to be in a city at what cost, right? Um, and so, and so, um, and so don't feel like that. So for me, 100 by 60 minimum. Anything like that, I'm going out. I'm just going out, I'm going a little bit out and stuff like that. So, so it's just like sometimes they buy these companies, buy them, and then they resize them to make more. So then they chop it, they you know they, they chop it into pieces and stuff like that. So 100 by 60 and anything about, but but you can still get 100 by 100 as you go, you know, 30, 45 minutes outside of cry, you can get that. Thank you, Ashanti Queen. So is it going to be to build and sell in the future? Yes, yes, I did that. So I already answered that same. Let me go through this quickly to see if I'm missing anything. So you can put a few questions uh, if you still have them. So everything is, uh, you know, everything is doable. Everything is feasible. You know, you just need good planning. You need the right people to help you. People that are honest. And and um, and you know they and they are looking at it as more like a relationship, not not like a, you know just just the other things. And so once you do that, everything, everything is doable. I'm a living testament that you can do it, and and I'm I'm gonna do it again, um, and use the same information, the same experience that I've gained, 
and stuff like that. So I think some of you just came around after the house was completed and stuff like that. So, and then I'll be sharing the process. So when I go to Ghana and I'm looking at I'm searching, uh, going through my land acquisitions, I'll be, I'll be recording them. And so I want you to know some of the questions I ask them and stuff like that, to know if they are full of it and, and that kind of stuff. So I'll be recording that um, and, 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 and so that you can, so all about protecting your dream, protecting your investment and stuff like that. Okay, so royalconsultingsolutions.com. Check out you know, the website. We, you know, we have the house plans now. We have the building guidelines right now, game changer. Um, you know, buy it, it's yours. Please don't transfer them um, and stuff like that. Let's support it. It's a great information. You know, we believe in it. Nobody has it. Um, and so it's going to help you a lot. It's going to help you with your planning. Um, I would say don't even think about anything. Just go buy it and it will fill in all the gaps, what you need, what the sequence, what the steps are, you know, so you can help you prepare um, and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, so just don't feel like you have to you have to be in a city so you you're paying at radios and, and, and stuff like that because um it's, it's moving out, you know, there's so much space or lack thereof in the city. So you know, and uh, and I'm I'm gonna look in and move out, and my goal is, is to stay about 20 25 minutes perimeter out of the airport. So that's where I'm using my radius and and stuff like that. I have some leads in a couple of high ends area, but I'm gonna go there and if they start quoting some prices, I'll be like, no, I'll screw that. I'm out because uh, it's not going to work. Um, so anyway, I wanted to bring this information, you know, to you guys. Uh, let us know um, any questions you have. Um, you know where to find me um, and stuff like that. Because uh, and then you know, stay focused. Don't get distracted. Just stay focused because it's only going to be expensive down the road. So I think we got to move down and 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 lock ourselves in and build it and build and all that stuff. So my goal is once I start digging, I'm gonna to try to wrap this thing up sooner as possible. Um, uh, within reason and stuff like that. So uh, let I'll go through the questions quickly to see if I if I cover everything. So I don't want inflation, yeah. Yeah, inflation of prices, yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, step by step. Yep, plan and sell, stuff like that. And, and the cool thing too is like, um, there's so many things that happen in Ghana and you want to be creative, right? You want to be creative, um, even like being a building to sell, even rental and stuff. You want, to, you, want to, you want your stuff to be unique, right? So you can look at what is going there, what is locked, um, and also like talk to people. You know, what do people want to see? What do people, people like to have that is now available? That's where you, you get your data and then you can meet that need, right? We advise being in Ghana the whole time. If you could, if you uh, if you if you can, yes, I know sometimes it's not realistic, but this is what I know. If you have the right team, and here's the thing, the the building construction guide that we have that allows you to detect what is going on, right? Because sometimes your builders may come and tell you, I want to do this. And sometimes they do that because they want to make money for unnecessary things that doesn't need to be done now. When you have the construction guideline, you can run it. You can run it. I can run it from anywhere because I'm going to tell you what we're doing and you provide me a code and I'm going to see if it's reasonable and, and that kind of stuff. So once you have that and, and you, and the trust, the trust and it's not just, it's, it's a duration of the process, right? It's not like, you got there, he made you feel butterflies in your stomach. So you're gonna hand all this money. No, it's project by project and they have to earn that trust, right? And so that is how we want to, we want you to look at it. And, and most of the time your instincts are right. You know, so, and my first video I did, live stream video I did, I made a statement and I believe it. I said, I want you guys to help me root out uh, the crooks in the building industry in Ghana. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to force them to be honest, to make ends meet, not all that way. So that is my goal. 
So we're gonna squeeze them. We're gonna release the information how they work so you guys can protect yourself and we are here to help you as well, okay? So if you can be there, yes, if you can't, try, I would say try to be the foundation be the buy land be the foundation be the. Um, and then try to go there another time, maybe, you know, roofing and stuff like that, and then finishing, you gotta be there, okay? So other than that, I didn't wanna keep this thing, uh, I didn't wanna keep this thing too too long, but you guys have good questions, and just reach out to us, and then uh, let's see how we can help you, and so we can move forward uh, because, you know, this is this is uh, the leadership, right? We are not relying on anybody, not the politics in Ghana, to to negate our dreams and stuff like that. We are taking our destiny into our own hands, right, in our future. So and once you do that, you are much happier. You can deal with anything when you feel like you have control and stuff like that. So that is what we are about, okay? So check the website. Um, there's great information out there. And um, and then let us know how we can help you. Appreciate all of you. I'm getting to know most of you by names, which is awesome. And then I hope to see you guys in person someday. Um, and so, uh, which we would. You know, someday, someday we may have to have like a big, big get together somewhere on the continent, and that'd be that'd be awesome. So, I appreciate everything. Appreciate you taking your time uh, to tune in. Thank you very much.